Hello everyone. In the previous video, we have created a subdomain called edenit.paproject.online. Also, we have created an SQL data server database called edenit, and also we have created user edenit for a TV account. Now, how can we upload the MVC ASP.NET project to this subdomain? So just go here to the Visual Studio, select New Project, And now here, let's select web, ASP.NET web application, and let's call this website as Eden IT, and let's click on OK. Now let's select an MVC and also click on OK. Okay, as you can see, we have created a simple ASP.NET MVC project. Now, let's run this project. So just go here and click on Run to check if everything is working fine. Okay, as you can see here, everything is working fine. This is simple project. Okay, here is the home, about, okay, contact. Also, you can go to login, you can register for this simple website. Now, how can we upload this website inside our GoDaddy FTP domain? So, let's go here, start the project, and here, just go to the Solution Explorer, right-click on the project, and select Publish. Now, we have many options. I'm going to select Custom, and let's call it Adam IT okay underscore GoDaddy. It is just profile name, you can give it any name. Click OK. And here we are going to select FTB. So what about the FTB? We are going to write FTB and then the subdomain we have got from GoDaddy, which is EdenIT.pa project dot online and here we can add your folder which is Eden IT this example which is this one this is my folder which is Eden IT of course and here the username and let's add the password okay now to check if everything is working fine just click on the validate connection and as you can see here yes we have got everything is well now in the destination URL just add this one which is the destination URL but here with HTTP okay let's click on next go to those options select those options and click on publish okay so when we go here to the subdomain edenit.paproject.online we have got that error and this because of the configuration setting of the godaddy server so just go here to the file manager go down to the file web.config Okay, and here you will see something called system.web. But at first we should click edit so we can edit the web.configuration file. And here now just go down where is system.web? Yes, that one. Here in the system.web we need to add those two lines, which is custom mode error off and trust level full. Okay which will allow the website to run on the web server of GoDaddy. Then click on save. Now when we go here again and refresh the page,
we have got another error, which is the group policy. And this because the compiler will start running on the server and the server will disallow this compiler to be run on the server. So in this case, just also go here to the web config file, the same file, and let's go down. And here inside the server, there is tag called system.codom. In the codom, there is some compiler. So just remove everything inside this tag, which is system codom, and just click on save. Again, refresh the page. Yes, as you can see here, we have got this website. But also, if we need to add the connection to the database, you should also change the web dot configuration here for the connection of the database. So when we go here to the connection, here is the connection. So we need to get a data from the database. So this my server, here is the username, and also we have a password and database. So all what you need here, the last step, is to go here and start changing the data with something like this. So when we go here, we can take a copy of this one, this connection, which is has something like data source with the server name, here is the username, password, and the database name. So we can change this one. So just copy this line and paste it here instead of this one. Remove the connection here and paste. And of course, you need to change the data. So here, our username is called Aiden IT. The password is Aiden IT. Okay at 2018 and the database name of course it is called Eden IT so also we need to change the database name and click on save so now we have published the website of ASP.NET MVC to our GoDaddy web server and see you in the next week